Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment, sitting here with Jared of Head PE. Jared, what's going on, man? What's up, bro? Interview number two we got. All right, About cool. a year ago, almost to almost to the date, I think, a year ago here, we were sitting on the bus back here again doing an interview with you. So, right on, man. I mean, in that year's time frame, I mean, head-to-head -head three now. I mean, the first two have done pretty well, so yeah, you guys yeah. are back. So what was, what's been the, I guess, the last year, what's been going on with you guys? Well, we, uh, we started the year off and we went to australia and um then we went over to europe and uh eastern europe and uh had a real good time over there and um so then yeah now we're back on tour with mushroom head for the third annual head to head and uh that's pretty cool we're having a good time with that what has been really the key factor in coming back with this head-to-head -head tour? Because you guys have, you know, already had success the first two times around in making this an annual thing. What is really that key factor that keeps you guys coming back with this tour? Well, what's good is because both bands have kind of an equal draw, you know, and so it's uh, just a cool co-headlining thing, and um, you know, uh, we offer different styles between uh, that uh, Mushroom Head and Head PE, so. Um, I think uh, the, the people who come out to the shows get a good night of um, of music, and um, every year it just seems to get bigger and bigger because uh, our fans kind of in, enjoy their music, and some of their fans like our stuff, so it's yeah. cool. Yeah, good crossover there. Yeah, so yeah. Definitely, and the name is perfect, Head to Head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that worked out. <laughs> it did. I, there's uh, talk of you guys uh, on the working on the ninth studio album. I mean, what can you tell the fans a little bit about that at all? Yeah, yeah, we're working on the uh, album that, that should come out in 2013. It's called Ascension, and um, it's, you know, more of the uh, heavy metal, hardcore punk uh, stuff that we do. Probably have some more reggae one drops in it, but, you know, we we'll keep it uh, keep it really intense and heavy like we've been doing. Right. With nine studio albums now after Ascension is in the works here, with all your guys' songs, I mean, you got a lot of hit songs as well. If a fan were to come up to you and just pick a title name of a song, could you remember it or would you have to go back and, and look at some of those songs again? I think most of the time I remember most of the uh, songs. There's some obscure ones that I would probably uh, be like, whoa, I almost forgot that one, but <laughs> right. I generally uh, pretty tight with all my material. Well, yeah, that's good. I mean, there's... A lot, a lot of bands say that you know about 75% of the time or so they can remember a song, but there are those ones that they either don't play live yeah. or you know it's just uh, off an older album that they, you know, haven't revisited in a while. So, just kind of curious on that how it, how it takes to a toll to remember all those songs, of course. Yeah, yeah. The lyrics is, is another thing. I'm sure there's tons of lyrics I could never remember. Right. <laughs> well, like I mentioned to you before in the interview, uh, we do what's called a BSC box. The fans have found Backstage Entertainment on Facebook. Fans can go like Backstage Entertainment and get some questions in here. We just actually got had a contest on our page and wow. have some new cool. new questions in here. So it's exciting. You get one of the first hand in these. All so all right, let's see. Let's see. Let's try this one. What do we got? It says here, what is on your iPod that people would wouldn't think wouldn't you, think would be yeah. on there? Okay. Yep. So any stuff on your iPod that. You know, it might sound a little That might weird. be a little bit different. Yeah. Um, what's weird that's on my iPod, huh? <laughs> Tough one, huh? Or are you just ashamed to say something? You get, you Maybe got something. not. <laughs> it's actually just normal, you know, reggae, yeah. hip-hop, punk rock stuff, actually, right. at this point. Only thing weird would probably be Brazilian music, you know, that I keep on there, or some uh, Latin music, and some Brazilian <laughs> children music, or whatever. We got, we got Britney Spears over there. <laughs> Who's yelling no, that over really there? That a long time ago. <laughs> All right, uh, let's try another one right here. All right, let's try another one. It says here, uh, how do you hope to connect with fans through your music? You know, like, and that's to me, same, like, you know, you get probably get some fans that. Uh, and say, hey, your your music really inspired me and just got me through some tough times. Stuff like that. Are you trying to connect with your fans in a certain way like that at all? Um, yeah, I think uh, when I'm... Uh, my music's uh, extremely personal, so 
I think that the honesty and sincerity of it generally is what connects with other people who just genuinely feel the same way that I do. So, you know, it's rather than me trying to connect, it's more than it's uh, being honest and seeing who feels the way I do, and that's the connection, you know. Yeah. So, all right, we'll try one more, and then I know you got to get going here. So. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. You Let's guys, see. Let's see what we got. What's the craziest thing as a fan has asked you to sign? Oh, man, really? You probably get a lot of requests. I mean, just people coming up to you after the show or something. And <laughs> I've heard some prosthetic legs. Uh, by yeah, other yeah, and you know, <laughs> every pe every uh, part of the body has been offered up. That's for sure. You yeah. know, for signature. So yeah. that's embarrassing, but true. Do you ever turn anything down? Or are you pretty generous with? Science? Oh yeah, I'm not really trying to sign breasts all the time now. <laughs> you know, it's become kind of the too cliche. You know. Yeah. But um, I'm not trying to sign man boobs or. <laughs> Um, men's butts or <laughs> just any men genitalia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I try to stay away from that. Yeah. So, well, guys, once again, interview number two with Jared, awesome guy here. Listen to Head PE. Check out their music. Thank you, brother. And, thank yep, you. Thank Appreciate you. That. All right, check them out, guys. Head PE. Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.